One final research conclusion just released tonight from the University of Countdown. Stress causes aging, aging causes death. How to stave that one off? How to reduce stress? Ever heard somebody just tell you, just breathe, and you just wanted to smack them? Countdown's Monica Novotny joins me now with the news that perhaps, perhaps they were right. Good evening, Monica. Keith, good evening. It is called The Art of Living, a course designed to teach people how to breathe. And though the group was founded 22 years ago by a spiritual guru, the class is not about religion and it is not about meditation. It is simply about students inhaling and exhaling and potentially healing themselves in the process. <laughs> The very first act in life that we did is we took a breath in. And the very last thing we're going to do before we go is we take a breath out. But everything in between may just be blowing hot air. So Poonam Tandon teaches the art of breathing to heal the sick and the stressed. When we're having certain emotions like anger or depression, anxiety, it affects our breath, right? So we can actually turn the relationship around and use the breath to affect the emotions. Breathe in and continue. A $250 20-hour course using the ins and outs of respiration as a weapon against illness. As the stress system becomes active, a lot of hormones, inflammatory chemicals are released in the body and they tear up your heart, they tear up your blood vessels, they tear up your brain. Dr. Richard Brown, a psychiatrist specializing in depression, spent years prescribing traditional medications. Now he joins many of his patients here. And they said, I feel transformed. And a lot of them were able to reduce their medicines and in some cases go off the medicines after years of being on medicine. The core of the course, a yoga breathing technique regulating the energy in the nervous system taught in three levels. The first two... But the last, called Sudarshan Kriya, they will not let us show you. Because they say if you tried it without an instructor, you could hurt yourself. Something Dr. Brown saw with one uninformed 18-year-old. And he started doing it for a couple of hours. For the next three days, he didn't tell anybody. He started thinking he was Jesus Christ. No, he can't do that. In 2000, a study by doctors at the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences in India found that daily practice of Sudarshan Kriya was as effective as an antidepressant for treating patients with severe depression. Elbows as high as you can get them. Believers see it as a low-cost treatment for disease with worldwide potential. There are only about 50 students in this class, but around the world in 146 different countries, they say more than 6 million people have taken this course. But even some students have to breathe it to believe it. I started to laugh. I had to like hold back. I felt funny. For the past 10 years, I was suffering with depression. I came here completely skeptical. And now, after learning how to breathe at home 20 minutes each day? I'm on no medication at all. I don't see any of my psychiatrists. I sleep like a baby. It's life. It's about the art of living. Now, volunteers from the Art of Living Foundation have taught this course around the world recently in Baghdad to a group of women and children suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder there. Now they say studies show this practice is not only therapeutic for stress and depression, it may also benefit the immune system, reduce cholesterol, enhance brain function, and improve overall health and well-being. And there's more information on our website at countdown.msnbc.com. Can I smoke while I do it? <laughs> Countdown's Monica Novotny out with the bad interviews and good in with the good interviews. Many thanks.